All right, today we're gonna to be going over the gold spot miner by Get Minted. We're gonna start mining some helium. We're gonna get that HNT. And first I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing and then we're gonna jump into the setup. So last time Minted had the uh, drop of the miners, I was able to snag five of the gold spots, which I was psyched about. Um, the one I'm setting up today, I actually ended up selling. Unfortunately, I only had four locations that I could use. So Get Minted has a great presentation. As soon as you open up that box, you're presented with the Gold Spot Miner. Uh, so it's basically just a rack uh, version 2, and it's uh, gold. All right, it comes with the power adapter, which is a USB-C connector. Nice and simple. Plugs right into the side. And then you got the port for your Ethernet, and then you have the base for your antenna to mount onto. Uh, so the antenna is a 2.3 dB and it just twists right on. And then it is adjustable. You can have it twist up or you could stand it on its side and have it point straight up that way. Either way, there it is. Alright, so now to set it up, first thing you're going to do once you have your I'm not going to go over setting up your Helium wallet, but assuming that you already have it set up, you're just going to open it up and click Add Hotspot. Then you're going to search for the Rack. So you find Rack Hotspot, select it, and then it's going to go over some uh, instructions for where to place it, where not to place it. Just skip through these and then click I Understand. And then it tells you to power it up and put it near a window and then press scan for hotspot and then Bluetooth's gonna search for it and once it finds it it's gonna pop up and then just click it if it doesn't pop up there's a button on the side so you can go ahead and click that and what that's gonna do is gonna activate the Bluetooth and it's gonna let your phone be able to find it so next thing it's gonna ask you is to connect it to your Wi-Fi network so just select whatever network you have put in your password and then hit connect. Now it takes a while to connect to the network. So once it does, it's going to ask you to set the hotspot location. You don't have to do it right now. You can always do it another time. You got one free location. Um, it's $10 if you want to reassert your location. So it pulls it up on the map and all you're going to do is drag that little white location to where you are and the blue one is where it thinks you are so once you have it just click set location and then next it's going to ask you to set up your antenna so if you want to keep your stock antenna it was already filled in with the rack 2.3 db so you would just keep that but i'm going to do a custom antenna because i got a 5.8 db so select custom antenna if you're going to need something different and then put in the db you can add gain or loss if you want and then it's going to ask you the height so mine's approximately 11 meters and this is above ground not above sea level so once you got that in there press next and it's going to let you know that the location fee is ten dollars it's been prepaid the first time so just go ahead and select register hotspot and once you do it's going to start registering now the first time i did this i ran into this error it says there was an error registering it, so I had to do the whole thing over again, add hotspot, and there's no problem. You still have your $10 credit. You pick the rack hotspot, you skip these, you hit I understand, I'm powered up, scan for my hotspot. And then select your hotspot. And then you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi, set the location, move it to the location you're at, then you press set location, and then your antenna, it's got me at the rack hotspot, I'm going to change it, I'm going to select custom antenna, 5.8 dB, height 11 meters, and I'm going to press next. And then 
Just accept the fee, which is prepaid, and it's going to register your hotspot. Now this takes a little while. So what this is doing right now is it's just registering your hotspot, adding it to the blockchain. And as soon as that go to wallet lights up, you can click it. And once you hit go to wallet, you're going to see that it gave your hotspot a name. Right now it says no location asserted, but that's no problem. It will be asserted as soon as it registers. So hit that little icon for settings. And then you're going to click the pair button. And this is going to get you into where you update the Wi-Fi or run diagnostics. So when you see your hotspot, go ahead and click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the IP address so we can set up the port forwarding. As you know, it needs to go over port 44158. But you can also run the diagnostics to see how far along you are with uh, syncing to the blockchain. And um, if you're having any other issues with it, you check it. So once it's paired, hit diagnostics. And then you're going to see our outbound and inbound is good. So that means it's pulling an IP address. And you can see it right there under other information. So make note of that, and then we're going to go to our uh, we're going to go to our router, and we're going to set up that port forwarding so that it can use port four four one five eight. All right. So to do that, you're going to log into your router. So type in your password. So this is for my particular router. All brands are going to vary, but they're all pretty similar. You're going to click Advanced. You're going to find Firewall and then you're going to select port forwarding. All right, so I'm going to create a rule. I'm just going to name it H and T. You can name it whatever you want. That's just so I can recognize it. And then the original port is 44158. It's going to go over TCP. And then the forward to address is going to be the hotspot IP and then it's going to forward to port 44158. And for schedule it's going to be always. You're going to add to list. You're going to apply changes. And if you scroll down, you can see it right there at the bottom of the list. So we're all set up to use port 44158. We shouldn't have any problems being relayed. So I've had my hotspots for about a month now, uh, coming up next week. So next week I'm probably going to put out a video going over the 30-day progress of how they are doing. But if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you giving the video a like and subscribe for more. i got plenty coming out soon. And as always, thanks for watching.